Uh, I think this is number four. Favor is lost when we don't walk in love. Okay? When you don't walk in the love of God, favor will lose you. You want to know why? Because the Bible says in the book of 1 John chapter 4 and verse 8 that God is love. All right? God is love. Love is God. God equals love. Love equals God. Everybody see what I'm saying? You see? They're on both sides of the equation. God and love. They're one and the same. When you read the Bible, you can take out the word God and put the word love there, and it'll still make sense. Why? Because God is love. God is love. And the Bible says, Jesus says in the book of John, chapter 13, I believe it's verses 34 and 35, or verse 34 itself. He said, He says, This one, a new commandment I give you, that you walk in love with one another. He says, By walking in love, everybody will know that you are my disciple if you have love one to another. So, if you want people to know that you are saved, you walk in love. Okay? Which is why people outside of the church, they can't tell if a church person is a church person or one of them because most church people are not walking in the love of God. Okay? They're not walking. In fact, the church world is the worst. They're the only group of people that I know that when, when one of its own make a mistake, they beat them up instead of working to help them and restore them. Gangs don't do that. They might beat you up, but they're going to love you, and then they'll give you another chance. You know? Organizations, you may make a mistake. They may reprimand you, but they're going to give you a chance. They're not going to take their pay from you. But the Christian world, Christians, ministers, deacons, the self-righteous, <laughs> they will beat you up. Jesus won't do it. He'll forgive you instantly. But the people won't. And so people don't know the love of God and they lose favor with God because they're not walking in the love of God. You have to walk in love. When you walk in love, that shows uh, people don't see you all of a sudden. They see the Lord Jesus Christ when you walk in love. And when you walk in love and people see Jesus, favor is going to flow your way. So we lose favor by being uh, by not walking out of love, being pushy and, and rowdy and, and rude and insisting on our own rights. You get that out of the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 13, verses 4 through 8. Okay, because love or not is not that. Don't exhibit itself that way. Love is kind, love is affection, love is sympathetic, love is compassion. That's what love is. Amen. Amen. And when you exhibit those forms of love, and when you and you get to people that are hurting, guess what? You don't know. They could be wealthy people, ready to bless you. You just never know. You could be entertaining angels and not know it. You see? So always walk in love. Walking in love will ensure that you walk in the favor of God. Okay? Now, point number five, I believe. This is number five. This is number five. Just being real practical today, amen? Y'all ready for this one? Yes. I love this one. <laughs> Favor is lost when we're always late. <laughs> Favor is lost when we're all when you're always late. You lose favor when you can never be on time. Now, I understand that there are circumstances, okay? There are mitigating circumstances from time to time, but I'm talking about a person that's consistently late. When you are consistently late, you will lose favor with God. I once was, uh, I was my a preacher, a minister, a pastor. He and his wife, I mentioned that they were always late. They were always late to their own service. Late all the time to their own service. They could never be on time to their own service. And I never, I mentioned, I said, y'all are always late. They said that's not a big thing when it comes to the things of God. It's interesting. It's not a big thing. It's not a big deal because they are the pastor of their church. You see? But let me tell you something when you're late. When you're late, you disrespect God, you disrespect the people of God, and then and also you disrespect people's time. When you are late, you are telling a person that your time, that that person's time is no big deal to them. Ladies, I'm sure if you're single or even if you're married and you used to date, <clears throat> and a gentleman, well, he may be gentle or not, but a man, he, he, he said, I'll be here at 6 o'clock to pick you up. And then he shows up at 6.45, driving up like it's no big deal. 
would you be happy with that, ladies? I don't think you would. Now, I'm a man, and I don't want, and if I, were, if I was dating, I'm married now, of course, but if I was dating, I wouldn't want that lady to be late, because if she was late, she wouldn't get my time. I'd be like, it's nice to meet you, goodbye. Okay? Because I don't play that. Okay? And I'm sure you don't play that either. Because you want to be respected. And when you're late all the time, you tell people that you're not that you don't respect their time. That's why I'm always on time. Just about, I think I am. I'm always on time when I start, when I start teaching and preaching. You want to know why? Because if you're going to take your time out to come here to listen to me, when you can go to one of the five or six hundred churches that are in this city that is on every corner in this city, in this county then I need to be on time because your time matters. Mm -hmm. Your time does matter. Even the young people's time, their time matters to me. You want to know why? Because once you lose time, you never get it back. You don't get time back. And let me tell you something about being late. Being late can cause you to be out of position too. You can be out of position. There was a blessing waiting on you. There was a person waiting to bless you. But that person had to leave you walked in being late, you missed out on the word or the blessing or the money that was there for you, but being late caused you to miss out. Mm. Amen. Late is not good. Okay? Late is never good. When you are always late, it also shows that you lack a spirit of excellence. Okay? Late shows that you lack a spirit, uh, a spirit of excellence. Lack in the, uh, you lack a spirit of excellence, excuse me. Let me tell you about being late. Now, we're, now we're soldiers, we're former soldiers. We don't like late, okay? We don't like late, okay? Because in the military, late can get you killed, okay? Late can cause you to lose money out of your paycheck, okay? So we don't like late, all right? Now, I'm a little bit lighter and easier. Uh, because this is not the military, this is the church, amen? So, so I'm not willing to risk it. But late is never good. Late is not good. Now, I understand if you're going to be late and you say you call or you text or you, or you email and say, hey, I, I can't make it, I, I, I'm in traffic. Just call. We know that's understandable. That's being accountable, okay? But being late is disrespectful because it shows a lack of accountability as well. You see? So we want to be on time. Even if you don't want to go somewhere, still be on time. <laughs> Amen? Be on time. Because you never know who or what is there that's for you. Okay? You just never know. You never know. Your poor ass could be there waiting on you, but you're late. <laughs> and guess what? <laughs> guess what? Somebody else smiled being there and, 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 and she you see, you see, you just never know. Be on time, amen. Amen. Be on time. I've seen people lose out on blessings because they were late. I've seen people smart, time to take an exam, but they're two seconds late and the door was locked and they couldn't get in. And they could ace the test. I've seen it. I've seen it. Don't be late. Work on being on time. Okay? It shows excellence. It shows responsibility and accountability. And it shows that, hey, you are serious about what you're doing and favor will follow you. Amen? Amen. Now, point number six. And let me tell you something. Let me give you a scripture for point number five. Favor is lost and always late. Luke 16, 20. Okay? In fact, let me go there. I want to read that. Luke 16, 20. Luke 16, I'm not 20, I'm sorry, 16, 12. Jesus, the Lord Jesus said, and if ye have not been faithful in which is another man's, who shall give you that which is your own? Let me go to verse 10. He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust in the least is unjust in much. 